In today's video, I'm going to share with you a review and walkthrough of KDP Champ. Now, if you don't already know, KDP Champ is a book reporting software where you can monitor your KDP net profits from all regions and all in one place. Now, I've recently switched from Get Book Report to KDP Champ, so what I'm going to do is give you a quick walkthrough and review of the pricing, the software, and everything that you can do. Now, before that, let's go over the pricing, because for KDP Champ, it's actually pretty cheap. Now, let's just give that a second. There we go. So, if you're brand new to publishing low content books on KDP and you haven't got the cash, you can still use this. If we take a look here, they do have a free plan and it's for newbies. So if you make anything less than £100 a month, you can use this tool completely for free and you'll get the push notifications, email notifications, in-depth data analysts, you can track the reviews of 10 books, and you can sync with your KDP account every 60 minutes. Now, for me, I actually have the Pro Monthly, which is this one, and it's only £7.99 a month. With this, you get your push notifications, email notifications, in-depth data analysis, ad spending monitoring, a few other bits as well. You can review or track your reviews up to 200 books and you can sync with your account every 15 minutes. Now, like I said, this is the one that I have, but if you're new with KDP, you don't need this one. You can start with the newbie. Now, if we scroll up a little bit to just here, they do have a fact section, which I suggest coming through and having a little read and also checking out the account setup, which you can find just here. Now, if you do want to check out KDP Champ, there will be a link down in the description, so it's a little bit easier for you to check out. Now, let's go over to the dashboard so I can share with you a quick walkthrough of this software and everything that it does. So here on the left hand side is all the features that it has. Right now we're on the dashboard. Now I'm going to cover all of this in a second because all of this here is customizable. You can move things around so you can have the layout how you want it and I really like that feature. Then we have bookshelf which we're going to cover, profile settings, statistics where we have a few different options as we can see, custom royalties slash expenses, review tracking, ads monitoring, referral scheme, the membership and what's new. Now here on the dashboard is where you can customize absolutely everything. So right here, this is my dashboard. This is how I have everything. But if you want to customize it, come to here on the left hand side. And if we click on here, we can see that we can uncheck certain parts. Now right here, we can click on them, we can click off them. If we click on them, it's going to bring them here. And then by using this little corner bit, we can drag and drop to how we want. Now let's put that back to like that. There we go. Now, if I didn't want this long bit here and I wanted this up here, again, we can take that top corner bit and move it around. I'm going to keep that how I had it. There we go. Let's put that back up to there. So we can see it's very easy to drag and drop. We can just take it the corners like this. Let's just put this one up there as well. Now on my dashboard, I have today's net royalties, the gross royalties for the month, the daily average royalties, yesterday's royalties, my book sales for the month, my book royalties for the month. I also have August, so that's the prior month as well. Then near the bottom, I have today's top earners and also yesterday's top earners. So this is all the data that I want to look at when logging in to check my low content book sales. Remember, all of this is customizable, 
by clicking here and clicking which ones you want shown here on the dashboard. Now on these bits as well, we can click just here to make that smaller, but I'm going to keep that like so. So that's my dashboard, that's how I've got everything set up. Right here on the left hand side, there's also bookshelf. So if we click on here, this is actually going to pull up all of your books so you can sort through them. If we click here on that little bit just there, it says in the bookshelf page, you can create book aliases. Book aliases can be used to name code your books for easier data analysis. So this is just a pretty cool little tool that they have as well. Then profile settings. This is where you can play around with the settings and get notifications for your book sales through email. So that itself is a feature that KDP does not have, but KDP Champ does. So you can set up your email address and get notifications for every sale that you have. Now let's scroll down past there to roundabout here because this is where you can play around with your settings. So right here you can receive a summary, a daily report, a weekly report, a monthly report. You can receive your book sales through emails for paid units, free units, reads emails, reviews and add sales. As you can see I have all of mine turned off. Then you can get push notifications as well for the web app, Android app and iOS and you can also play around with the colours for the graph in your reporting and then right here if we scroll down you can actually blur out images which is perfect for when i create videos like this because i can blur out my books you can blur out asins and also book titles you can have kdp champ scrape your account every 10 15 30 minutes an hour two hours and up to six you can change your currency the number format, the date format, and your time zone. So as you can see, you can play around with a lot of different settings. Now let's scroll back up to the top to round about here. So that's the profile settings. We then have logs, so you can just check out what the software has been doing. I'm not going to click on that one. Then we have statistics, so we can check out the marketplace stats by itself. And from here, we can play around with all time, last month, and various different dates. If we click search database, that's going to go all time. And we can see that I've actually earned the most on Amazon.com which is just here with $108,000. But this is just nice to see where all of your sales are coming from. Then we have book stats as well, which we can check out. Again, a few different features that you can play around with. Book titles, authors, formats, marketplaces, and date ranges. So again, if we change to all time, click search data, we can see what that looks like. And if we scroll down to the bottom, it's going to give us each individual book and all of the stats as well. So let's scroll back up to the top. We can also check out author stats as well. So very similar data. And we can see each individual author. Again, if we go to month, change this to all time, we can see all of that data. There we go. And as we can see, my best pen name, which is just here, has actually earned $23,000 in royalties. We can then check out historical stats as well. And we can change all of this from whichever date range that we want. And then we have compare stats as well. So you can compare different years. So you could do 2021 to 2022 and so on on then from here we have the custom royalties and expenses this is something that i personally have not played around with then there's review tracking as well where you can set up your books and check your reviews 
also adds monitoring. So this is something that I do want to play around with because once you have your ads manager all set up through KDP Champ, you can track all of your ad spend as well. So there's some pretty cool stuff that KDP Champ does actually do, but I haven't got round to trying it out. Then they also have a referral scheme, so they don't actually have an affiliate program, which is sad, but they do have a referral program. And the link down below, obviously, is going to be my referral code, just because I really like this software. Then they have their membership, which obviously is going to tell you about your subscription, and you can actually delete your account from here. Then they have a little What's New tab, which I suggest checking out, because any updates that they do, they will put just here on the What's New tab. But that's it, that's a quick walkthrough of KDP Champ. As you can see, it's a pretty good software. I've recently moved over to KDP Champ instead of using Get Book Report, because I was having a few issues with Get Book Report, where it wasn't pulling through all of my data. And I was having that issue for a few weeks, so I just decided to make the move over to KDP Champ, and I'm glad that I did, because again, it's actually very simple to use, and I like that it's completely customizable. So if we just get rid of that bit like that, we can see all the data that I have. The royalties, this bit can't be changed. This bit's always going to be here. And then you have control over all of these different features just here. You can turn them off and on like so. And just get the dashboard how you want. So with me, I personally want to see what I sold today and what I sold yesterday along with for the month. So for the month, I've got all of my book sales just here. Then we have today's royalties. It's actually pretty early, so I have no royalties as of yet. Then I have gross royalties for the month. So for this month so far, it seems like we've done $618. Then my daily average is around $51 with yesterday's net royalties around 65. So this is the data that I want, along with all of my book sales for the month. We can actually play around with these, turn these off as well, might as well just do that. And if we click on this little drop down, like so, we can actually change this. So I've got this on book royalties, but you can change that to book sold, Kemp reads, spending, net royalties, and so on, and it's the same for the previous month just here. We can change that as well. But as we can see, I keep that on book royalties, and then further down the page, we can see today's top earners and yesterday's. If we click on yesterday's, we can actually see the books which I sold yesterday. I sold 15 of this one, eight of that one, seven, five, one, and one. Then if we actually hover over the top of this and click it, we can go through to check the books on Amazon. So that's KDP Champ, and that's how I have my dashboard all laid out as well. So if you like the looks of KDP Champ and you want to give it a go, there will be a link down in the description so you can go through and check it out. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.